Hello guys, welcome to a new video. This video is going to be all about um, the leopard eye I drew last week. So, this time I'm going to break it down and explain to you how I drew it and which colors I used for it. So, I'm starting out with a base layer of light blue for the eyelids and then building um, more colors on top and then at last uh, going over with black to darken everything up and the reason for not going in with black right away is to get more depth in my drawing because going in with black right away um, can make your drawing flat so that's why I'm building up the layers with different colors I'm trying to copy um, the colors I see in my reference photo so because I saw a bit of a blue blue shine or blue glow um, in the eyelids I started with a blue base layer and then added some purple to the inner corner of the eyelid and then added more blue on top and at last went in with black to darken everything up and basically I do the same for the pupil um, not going in with black right away but starting out with blue and of course leaving open the, um, the space where the highlight is going to be because with colored pencils it's really difficult to erase so I'm trying to leave it, leave open the, the spaces that have to remain light and that's what I'm doing too with uh, the lashes because cats have lashes too and they are covering the top eyelid so I'm leaving open the, the lashes because they are lighter than the eyelid itself so I'm drawing around the, the, the lashes leaving them white and then later on I'm adding color to the lashes to give them more depth too and for those of you who want to know I'll put a list of the exact colors I used um, in the description so if you are interested you can find that there and the paper I use is Canson 1557 um, 100 and what is it 180 grams so it's quite it's quite thick and a bit of textured paper it's not too smooth because I don't really like smooth paper for colored pencils so yeah I use this paper to be able to use a lot of layers
the area at the top of the eyeball, um, just beneath uh, the top eyelid, is the darkest because um, the lashes cast a shadow over the top of the eyeball. It is the darkest area, so I'm starting with adding some green at the top and some brown. And then working my way to the bottom of the eyeball and around the pupil, adding the colors I see in my reference picture. And I'm working with a lot of greens and a lot of um, earthy colors and some yellow and blue as well. And of course drawing around the big highlight in the middle of the eyeball. the base colors are blocked in I hop around and add details where I see them um, add little veins and of course the highlight has some color in it as well so I'm adding some blue um, in the highlight which will give uh, the drawing a more three-dimensional look and I want to make it as realistic as possible so I'm spending a lot of time on that and just adding in colors and comparing my drawing to the reference photo and be very critical. Because looking at your drawing with a critical eye 
is going to give you the best result um, possible at that moment. Doesn't matter if you are not experienced yet with a certain medium. Being critical of yourself is going to give you the best result. But of course, being too critical isn't good either. So when the eye itself was finished, I wanted to add some fur um, around the eye, just to practice, but because I haven't done many realistic furry animals with colored pencil yet, so I wanted to practice and added some fur, and it was really difficult for me, but I think it came out decent. Um, so I'm starting out with blocking in the marks, uh, the black marks in the leopard fur and I'm doing that with a brown first so I will be able to erase um, wrong lines and to give the marks more depth because as I said when you go in with black right away you will get a flat result which I didn't want so that's why I'm starting with brown and drawing lines, uh, lines of fur in the right direction. And the reason for starting out with the darkest areas in the fur, in the fur first, um, is because I will be able to judge um, the darkness of the rest of the fur better. It's something that works for me. Um, it may not work for everybody, but that's the technique. That works best for me. So that's why I'm starting with the black areas first.
after doing the black marks, it was time to fill in the rest of the fur, which was the hardest part for me. Um, I still find it really difficult to judge which, which colors to use um, when drying lighter fur. Dark fur isn't a problem for me, but lighter fur I find really difficult. So I basically just did what I thought would be best to do. Um, I added multiple colors. Um, mostly I used terracotta and burnt ochre for the brown fur. And below the um, bottom eyelid there is a lighter strip of fur which I didn't use many colors for. Just a bit of green and a bit of blue. And for the fur above the eye I also used some yellow and some cream. Um, because that fur looked more yellowish in the reference picture so I tried to copy that and the fur below the eye looked more brown and dark. I think with lighter fur it's important to be very careful um, with the amount of pressure you use on the pencil and the colors you use, especially for the first layers, because it's really easy to go too dark right away, which is something you don't want for lighter fur. So that's what I find the most difficult about it. So I basically used um, two colors for the cream and brown colored fur, which are burnt ochre and terracotta. And I just drew um, light lines of fur in the right direction to give it the look of fur. So I didn't really draw individual hairs, but I tried to give the fur the look of fur by separating the hairs with those colors. I hope you understand that. <laughs> I hope I'm not rambling too much.
when I blocked in all the fur um, and I was happy with how it looked, I added some final details in the eye and in the fur itself. And then I basically called it finished. Um, it took me about three hours, which is quite a lot for such a small drawing. But I learned a lot from it and I hope you've learned something from it too. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments what videos you would like me to make in the future. I've got a lot of ideas but not too much time to make videos at the moment. Because Christmas commissions are keeping me very busy. I hope in 2017 I will be able to upload more often. So yeah, let me know your ideas in the comments. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!